Morning world, it's 8.30 in the morning on the 25th of November 2015. It's a void moon as I speak, the moon is at the end of Taurus and it's going to be staying void for much of today until quarter past five tonight. The Sun and Mercury are both conjuncting Saturn. Saturn Mercury conjunction is only one quarter of a degree apart. The Sun is approaching Saturn, it's four degrees or four days away. Uh, all of them, Sun, Saturn and Mercury are squaring Neptune. Mercury is exactly squaring Neptune as I speak. All of this points to a degree of confusion, vagueness, disorientation, nebulousness, uncertainty, even deceptiveness. There's a sense of um, cloud, quicksand, mist and tree curl around. And there's no sense of clear boundary or structure. Add to this that it's a void moon, you might get the impression that this is not a particularly brilliant day to be trying anything new, and you'd be right if that was your conclusion. So from my astrological perspective, what a better time to take a, a risk. Gulp. I'm holding my heart in my hands here, but I'm now going to do two or three minutes on the horoscope of that nice Mr Vladimir Putin. Born on the 7th of October 1952 at 9.30am in Petrograd in Russia. Is Libra with the Sun conjunct Saturn, Scorpio rising, and Pluto, the ruler of Scorpio, on the exactly on the midheaven in Leo. Uh, it's got the Moon in Gemini. It will be his lunar return later today. The interesting part about his horoscope at this time, bearing in mind the military and political changes over the last twenty-four hours with. The, with Russian armaments being shot down in the sky over Turkey, is that Mars in the sky is now rapidly bearing down on top of Vladimir Putin's sun. Pluto in the sky is finishing a two-year square to Vladimir Putin's sun. And Uranus in the sky is opposing Putin's Saturn as we speak. And classic representation of the end of the Uranus-Pluto square. Mars is coming up to that sort of 12 to 18 degrees of Libra area where it will oppose Uranus and square Pluto for the last time until Uranus and Pluto really do properly move out of square. So this is the last major trigger point of the Uranus-Pluto square and it's taking place basically between now and December the 14th, 15th, something like that, the middle of December. It governs the full moon of later today and the new moon of December the 11th at 19 degrees of Sagittarius. Mars is going to pass on top of Putin's Sun and Saturn and this is going to happen whilst it's not going to happen until the second week of December um, it is already well within range and orbit and when I see press reports of him yesterday being incandescent with fury I fully get it I fully get it and I hope that sane heads in his department are prevailing upon him not to take um, impulsive, volatile or impatient action in the immediate short term because Mars conjunct Sun, Mars conjunct Saturn with Uranus and Pluto hitting them both is not a sane voice of stability and reason. It is much more what I see as wildfire and volatility and the capacity for action speaking louder than words. So I hope that there's nothing furtherly untoward going to happen, but I'm not holding my breath. The new moon later today, opposite Mercury, opposite Saturn, square Neptune. It's a difficult one. And um, if any of you know people born in the first seven, eight, nine days of Sagittarius, Gemini or Virgo or Pisces, i.e. people born in the last seven or eight days of um February, August, May, November, then reach out the hand of friendship to them because at the moment they're going through a really, really hard time and I do expect today to be a day of um, conclusion, closure, ending, summary of, of many of the events that's happened to them over not just this year but over the last two or three years. There is such an energy of closure around at the moment and um, it's going to be an interesting day. The actual full moon 
Uh, the actual full moon is tonight. It's going to be at uh, UK time. It's going to be at um, quarter to 11 in the evening, UK time. Translate that into wherever you are. It's a volatile one. Don't go out and make trouble. Don't go looking for trouble because it will find you. Best off at this one, staying in, staying quiet, staying low and hoping everybody else does the same. Catch you tomorrow, folks. Bye.